Since my first Laser Tripwire video, I've had tons of requests to do an advanced version. So here we go. Laser Tripwire version 2.0. There's quite a few parts to build a laser tripwire 2.0. I'll tell you in a little bit how you can get everything you need to make your own. But first, a quick run through on the build. The receiver is first, and it's all going to be built on a 5x5 five five centimeter circuit board. We'll be using two 8 pin IC holders where we'll install our two 555 five five timer chips. We'll install our first two ground wires that'll go to our ground power rail. Then it's time for a couple of capacitors, a resistor, and one more capacitor. Version 2.0 is going to include a few trim pot variable resistors, and I'll show you what these do later. We're also going to need a transistor and a switch to turn everything on. You can download the free schematic for this project at kipk.com. We also need a photoresistor. That's what's going to trigger our laser tripwire. When everything's wired up, it's time to install our two 555 timer chips. Be careful, make sure you don't bend any of those legs. We've applied power to the board and we'll use a speaker as our audio output. Once the beam is broken, it makes a loud noise and you can also plug it into an audio amp. Okay, it's time to fit everything inside one of my custom made tins and we'll secure it with some screws, nuts, and spacers to keep it off the bottom of the tin. I've cut holes for the power jack, the audio jack, and the photoresistor. Oh, and remember those variable resistors? Well, they control the frequency and pitch of the siren. And the third trim pot controls sensitivity to adjust for lighting conditions in your house. You know, I get asked all the time, where do I get the materials to build your projects? And even if I find them, the materials are too expensive. Well, I'm going to tell you how to get all the materials you need to make your very own Laser Tripwire version 2.0. But first, we have to finish the build. The only thing left is the laser transmitter, and this is really easy. We're using a regular red laser pointer, but we got to get inside. So, using a pair of pliers, twist the end of the laser pointer, and the entire laser module comes out of the housing. This laser pointer also has a little LED, and we're going to remove that and save it for a future project. Then we'll solder two wires to the board, one for power and one for ground that goes to our AA battery pack. We'll also add a small toggle switch in line to turn our laser on and off. Once complete, our laser fires up. Now it's time to take this assembly and put it in another one of my tins. I used hot glue to secure the switch and the laser in place, and it's sealed up and ready to put into action. Now check this out. I'm going to be mounting them using a couple of small tripods and two cell phone holders. I popped the covers off my tins just for this shot because it looks cool. Now all you have to do is pick out a spot you want to protect and line up the laser dot with the photoresistor in the Tripwire 2.0 across the room. Plug the audio output into your stereo and turn everything on. Now anybody, including this goofy guy who crosses the beam, will set off the Tripwire 2.0. Now you can also use small mirrors and put them around your house to make a laser protected grid. Oh, and the other request I got was to make the alarm stay on. Well, now you can do that using an Arduino and some LED indicators. Okay, here's how to get everything to build a laser tripwire 2.0. Your kit will come with all of the parts and instructions to make this cool project. Plus, you'll get access to an in-depth video on how to build this project and a members-only video on SMD soldering and how to do it right. And as a bonus, you'll also get a super special limited edition Kip K Kits tin. Plus, you'll get access to my online members-only site where you'll get tutorial videos that will walk you through step-by-step -step on building the kits so you'll never mess up. Bonus content includes extra videos like the Irresistible Guide to Resistors and a primer on man mastering the multimeter, and an exclusive live webcast with me, Kip K. Click here or the link below in the description right now to get started with Kip K Kits. Find the Kip K Kits that fits you and check out immediately. You'll be doing DIY projects in no time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.